Face. What happens in doctor's hospital stays Face. in doctor's <laughs> hospital. <laughs> <laughs> a change of atmosphere here in this room because Ralph has now shown his jolly side because he has finally met up with his doctor, Dr. Leonard Barakia. Sorry if I didn't get it right the first time. He explained everything to Ralph and probably assured Ralph that he's gonna be fine. Come here, look at Ralph now. So are you good with what you heard from the doctor? Okay-ish. Uh, he did say that I'm still going to have bad asthma for the next two months. So, as long as we can take care of it, that's fine. So, yeah. Um, he also clarified a couple of things. Um, Ralph's x-ray last week when we came here for, as an outpatient, his x-ray was not good at all. So if you're coming to doctor's hospital, don't just take the word of the intern, wait till you, an actual doctor sees the paper because the intern said that the results were normal when they really weren't. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm in Ralph's bed. Because Where she belongs. Oh. Yeah, where I belong. <laughs> and it's so comfy. I think I'm gonna be sleeping here tonight. <laughs> Oh. Okay. What happens in doctor's hospital stays, stays in, in doctor's, doctor's hospital. hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, sir. I'm here to give you your immunization, sir. Do you want to move? No, this is just manualized. Okay. Come to the Nina there. Nice ride. Oh, Nina, thank you. So, I'm going after my, my antibiotics, for sure, right? Okay. Do mine. Okay. It's gonna be they said nebulized cortisone and antibiotics. Antibiotics after midnight, I think. <clears throat> Okay, hey guys, it's our second day. Ralph is still having a little shortness of breathing from time to time, but that is going to happen for two months, according to the doctor. We are hoping to get out today. Ralph actually has a meeting, which he already canceled. But if we can leave the hospital today, he might be able to make it to that meeting. Look at our patient. How are you feeling? I'm actually not doing so well. I, uh, my lungs are itchy. Okay, so hi guys, we're outside of our room. We're actually under Dr. Barakia. Look at that. So, hi. we are, good morning. This is, I think, the side of, at the side of um, the hospital. I think that's their, like, parking space there for the doctors. Right now, Ralph is with me. He's just a stubborn patient. He's supposed to be laying down. I know he really wants to be discharged today, and I think he will be, but he's already out of his bed. He's supposed to still be laying down. I'm supposed to be recovering. Getting back to normal. Stubborn. Stubborn. <laughs> 
So yeah. What did you say to me? Stubborn. I said you're a stubborn patient. That's the station six there with our beautiful nurses. So, and this is Ralph's breakfast, which he didn't really eat. Who eats chicken for breakfast? Filipino people. No one eats chicken for breakfast. You do. <laughs> Honey, they even serve chicken in, I think, breakfast no. meal in Jollibee, McDonald's. No so hey guys, look, I have already prepared all of our stocks. These are actually what Ray brought in yesterday when he when we sent him home to get our clothes. He actually packed more than needed. Of course, we didn't know yet that we were going to be discharged today or the next day. So we have all organized everything. So when the bill arrives. It's just easy to just pick them all up. A resident doctor came over and checked on Ralph and he confirmed that we're actually going to get this charge. The nurse said that it's probably around the cutoff time. They're still processing the bill, including the fee of the doctor. All in all, in my experience, this has been, this has been good except for the new rules they laid out about, you know, the plates, the utensils, the pillows. But those are minor, actually. They've taken care of Ralph. Ralph is still alive. Looking good as ever. Oh, my only comment is they should not really put this here near the door. There's a vault inside, of course, because if we're sleeping, and I'm not saying that there are thieves in the hospital, but this is the door. And the bed is all way there. So if Anyone can just open the door at night, sneak in, and just open it. Our stuff will be gone. So maybe bring your own lock. <laughs> but there's no lock, though. You can bring your own, though. They're not going to stop you from locking that, like a bicycle chain lock. Oh, true. So I think that's my only comment there. I think it should be near the patient's bed. Of course, they can't do anything <laughs> right next to where the people are. So we're just waiting for our... Discharge. We're actually officially discharged, but we're just waiting for a call from the billing department uh, for us to go down and settle the bill. I have already contacted Manuel, the driver that will drive us home, but before we head home, we still have a few things we need to buy, and that would be it. We're just waiting for our order, takeout, and then we're gonna go straight home. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just wearing a mask so that I don't get sick again from the exhaust. Really not modeling as Sub-Zero. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are finally back home. Yeah, you now see the dirty and the yucky blue paint color at the back. And here is my patient here who's been very demanding, by the way. He is somehow stable, although today he complained of feeling a dry lung, which we called to the doctor about, and he said to buy NSS or saline solution. Okay, so honey, why don't you assure our viewers that you are fine? This sucks. Not good to have asthma. But I am feeling better. I think we have it under control. But I, I, there are some times that I'm uncomfortable, and it was a lot easier to be uncomfortable in the hospital when you know you have so many trained professionals there to really protect you. But I just see I'm very hard to breathe. But I don't know. I think I'm getting better. 
actually, you know what? He complained a lot in the hospital, but most of his complaints are not actually taken care of. They just say, okay, we'll relate that to the doctor. But I think it's the fact that he is in the hospital, so even if nothing is done, he is re he feels fine right away. Would you like your banana, sir? So he will be stuffed with banana because his potassium is low. And he's actually relieved he doesn't have to take that potassium syrup anymore. It's so horrible, it burns your mouth. So hey guys, we have a new prescription. Which have, we have a new puff prescribed for Ralph from Dr. Barakia yesterday. And the name is Anoro. Yeah, it sounds unique. Well, here it is. It is the most expensive medicine he has ever been prescribed. Now we're gonna show you the unboxing <laughs> moment. You do it. I'm not gonna take your... So there's double seal in that one. It's hiding in this. And wow. And the little do not eat bag. <laughs> yeah. So this cost... <clears throat> 2,450 pesos and it's it claims to be a long acting muscarinic receptor or antagonist okay. so yeah that's what he's gonna use now look at that <laughs> 